ました。Thank you, Lati. You're from Baltimore. That's where I'm from too. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, y'all saw my status, right? First of all, before I even go there, let me tell y'all one thing. Before, since we on the topic of my husband. <laughs> hey, Nikki. <laughs> good morning. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, y'all, my birthday is coming up, right? Hey, Brent. And um, the other day before my husband left out for work, he gonna look at me and say, "I got um a surprise for you for your birthday," and walked out the door and went to work and just left me hanging. Y'all know my birthday when he told me this. What's what's today? My birthday is on the first, so it was it's what three weeks or something like that. So three long weeks, I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for my surprise. Why he play so much? He over there laughing. It's not funny. Dang, y'all rolling in this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's just rolling, rolling, rolling. People probably like, what she gotta ask him? I just <laughs> my my status is I have a question for my husband. Dang, y'all rolling in here. Y'all must think I got some hot tea to spill today, honey. <laughs> not today. <laughs> All right, um, you guys that are just rolling in, do me a favor and um, drop in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I like to know who I'm talking to from time to time, and I love interaction on my live. So let me know, let me know. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to ask him, what made you join me in the business? Y'all know he, <laughs> y'all know he recently joined me in the business, so. I just wanted to see what his mind was with it, what helped him make his decision and stuff like that. And I'm going to give him the floor for a minute. So, go on. Um, I guess. Speak up too so they can hear you, baby. I mean, you've been talking to me about it for a while. And then, honestly, when you think about it, the residual income and, like, the different streams of income, like, with, with you, you're able to um, make, like, seven different streams of income. All right. And if I do it as well, then technically that's, like, 14 streams of income. And I look at it for like, say for the next 10 years, you know, I'm in trucking. I know what I'm essentially gonna make for the next 10 years. Why not, why not join a business that's young? And as, as I, from what I see from the people that's, that be talking and stuff like that, within them five years that the company been been around, you have people making a lot of residual income on a monthly basis. Why not put myself in a situation where five, 10 years down the road from now, I could be making 4,500 plus residually a month then I wouldn't necessarily need to be in trucking unless I wanted to be. So just in the long run, I think it would make more sense for me to invest in a business and give it what I have. So in like 10 years, I technically I can retire at a fairly young age. Yeah, so hopefully, can you guys hear him okay? Can y'all hear him okay? Let me know if y'all can hear him. Let me know if you guys can hear everything that he um, said. I know there might be a delay, so I'm going to wait a second before I say what I want to say. This sun is jumping. Sheesh. 
Nikki, can you hear him okay? Did y'all, was you able to hear him okay? You need a thing in your car. My arm's starting to hurt. <laughs> well, hopefully y'all can hear, hear him. I, nobody's responding, so. Um, um, if you guys don't know, he's in trucking. And um, so he drives, what, 12, 14 hours a day? Y'all know I used to drive with him. But um, we, we had a trucking business before I started doing what I'm doing now. And uh, being in trucking is no joke. First of all, um, it can be stressful at times. It just depends on what you're doing. When we had our business, it was stressful. I don't think it's quite as stressful for him now. Babe? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> um, but it can also be wear and tear on your body and stuff like that. Now, I want to speak to what he said about... Um, about 10 years now he said thank you nikki he said 10 years but uh it's not gonna take 10 years trust me uh if you get into this business and you put the time in you will get what you want out of it um it's all about what you put into it for this this business what you put into it is what you get out of it if you come into this business and you don't do anything you don't let people know what you do you don't let people know you know that you book travel you don't let people know that this opportunity is changing lives and that you can help them change their life and the dy dynamic of their family then it won't do anything for you right so that's one of the things that i wanted to say about it like it, he my husband is like me he's a grinder he's gonna do what he need to do if he really want it you know, so it's all up to the person that comes into this business and um, it's up to them to get out of it what they want out of it, basically. Uh, what else was I going to say to you? You said something. Well, I have right there. We headed to breakfast too, y'all. So this is not going to be that long. But um, it also it's also all about, how, too, um, how you want to help your people. The people that you bring into this business, what type of dedication you have to them to help them succeed because... Their success is your success, and your success is their success. I'm very, um, hey Lola, hey Ethel, I'm very hands-on. So for me, the people that come into this business, and I know they're hungry for success, and I know they're going to do what they got to do, I'm going to take, grab them by the hand, and we gonna, we're going to run. Like, that's what we're going to do, you know? So I don't know. I love it. Um, he's just starting. He launched his business this week that just passed. And um, he did introduce the business to some of his friends and stuff like that. Um, I guess, what are you looking to get out of it, babe? I know you said, so So it is seven streams of income that you can reach in this business. That's two of us, so that's 14, like you said. What else are you looking to get out of it? Besides just the, is the money the main thing to you that you feel is important? I mean, it's right up there. Yeah, at the top, yeah. <laughs> That's typical for a man. But anyway, <laughs> because I asked that because it's not the same for me. So for me, um, is that all you had to say about it? I mean, building the team, I mean, that's the part of everybody winning at the same time and everybody getting money. So I know in order to make the money, you got to have a team and y'all got to grind it out together. So, I mean, but yeah. the end result goal is the money. Yeah, for him, the end result goal is mainly income financial freedom residual income and things like that but for me it's different so for me and that's right now because you know your why changes your why can change anytime like when i came in it my main thing was for the travel but as i've been in the business and i've been growing my why has changed my why is to help my people right my why is to help them reach their goals and their dreams and also my why is still you know still to travel um but like my my why has definitely changed um and my mindset has changed so much since i've been in this business and also one of the things that's important to me is the community of it right because we're in a community setting like the y'all would be like shocked at the way network marketing is just different right in the sense that it's not the crab in the barrel or crab in the bucket mentality like you know when you go work for a job and you're trying to get a raise and stuff like that people are trying to pull each other down and people are just nasty to one another and stuff like that it's not like that in this industry it's not like that in this business right people are trying to help one another that's that's the like the goal that's how everybody wins so that's all i really wanted to say about it i don't know if you want to add on anything babe no, okay. Well, 
there y'all have it this is the reason why um my husband decided to join the business with me and let me tell y'all something we are unstoppable together so look forward to seeing more um updates on things that we're doing and stuff like that and i appreciate you guys um for tuning in hey terry hey kiki hey lola ethel nikki lamont uh thank you guys for letting me know where you're tuning in from brent lati and do i say fabian fabian hopefully i ain't mess your name up i'm sorry if i did um but you guys have an amazing day um i might go live again later today i don't know yet but i'll let you I'll, if i do you guys will see me come on live have a great day thank you for tuning in peace